Dear learners, in this chapter, I am going to discuss importance of environmental studies. Now, the environment is not a single subject. Environment includes social science as well as science. Now, what we need to understand? In environment, we need to understand chemistry of environment atmosphere of that environment, oceanography, geology, archaeology, anthropology, sociology, history, biology, economics, ethics and political science. See, we live in world in which natural resources are limited water, air, soil, minerals, different products, all these will be obtained from forest, grasslands, oceans, agriculture farms. So, all these are the part of our life supporting system and without this life supporting system, life of human would be impossible. Now, due to use of this, earth cannot be expected to sustain this expanded level of utilization. Now, how can we improve this condition? This condition will be improved by taking some action in our day to day life. Government cannot manage the safeguarding of the environment. So, you just start with your own. So, as an environmental healer, what we need to do? As an environmental healer, we will exercise in self-learning about the environment. There are some examples for this exercise which includes plastic, water, food, paper and electricity which is also or electrical energy will provide electricity. Now, plastic. See, plastic which we are using have a major role as per the human life is concerned. So, just make a list of plastic articles which you are, you are using in your day to day life. Try to reduce the amount of plastic which you are using. Try to understand what is the effect of plastic onto the environment and where did the plastic come from or how it is made. In case of water, learners try to investigate how much amount of water you required in your day to day life. Say for example, we are using water for brushing teeth. So, just calculate the amount. We are also using it for bathing purpose. We are also using for washing of clothes and washing of two wheelers as well as four wheelers. So, just calculate how much amount of water really you need and how much amount of waste generated after its use. Also try to determine where did the water come from, what is the actual source and how it is reached into our home. Now after using of that water, whether 
that waste water is treated or what is the output of it do you feel you should change the way to use the water if yes then try to change or try to reduce the unavoidable use of water then how can you change this that so that it is more sustainable so this is all about water now coming to that food see we are consuming food but where it has come from try to investigate it right see we have agriculture farms farmers cultivate different food products right they harvest it they sell it then we are purchasing right how it is going to be cultivated what physical chemical condition it required what are the different types of fertilizers used for their production how the harvested food will reach towards you what what transmission mechanism or what transport mechanism they have how it is cooked how much amount of food you are wasting and how is the waste disposed of in case of paper we are also using paper see for academic as well as for our day to in we are also using in our day to day life so where it is does it come from what happens during their manufacture how much do you use and how much do you waste i am repeating how much do you use and how much do you waste how can you prevent it from being wasted so if you think in that way then the use of paper will be what up to minimum level we are also using electrical energy see electrical energy is generated by using uh, hydraulic power plant there are different methods i am focusing on to this hydraulic power plant so how much amount of electrical energy you are using in your day to day life where does it come from how do you waste it how you can conserve them these questions will try to understand the use of